Hello, and welcome to the third video in our Career Center series, where we look at COVID-19's impact on private school hiring. My name is Hilary Lamont, and I am the VP of Data and Analysis at NAIS. In the first video in this series, we looked back at the impact COVID-19 had on hiring last year. In the second video, we took a look at an NAIS snapshot survey that provided insights into teacher hiring during COVID to date. In this video, we have the opportunity to look at the January 2021 hiring data. January traditionally represents the first month of the new hiring season for independent schools. Does January provide us with any early indicators of what this year's hiring season will be like? We turn to the NAIS Career Center for our data source. Career Center manages thousands of job postings and hundreds of thousands of job seeker inquiries every year. Previously, we looked at the distribution of visitors to the Career Center by month for the 2020 COVID year compared to the 2019 pre-COVID year. Now we are able to add in the data from the 2021 current year in the months to date. As you can see so far, we appear to be pretty much on target for the volume of visitors expected to the NAIS Career Center. While the number of visits to the site are similar, we see interesting contrasts when we look at the distribution by state. Here you see a map representing a year-over-year -year comparison of users by state for the month of January. As you can see, some states had increased activity and some decreased. The most notable change is the 48% decrease in site visits from New York State. While it is possible that New York State residents are temporarily lo located outside of the state, this in and of itself is unlikely to account for the 48% decrease. In terms of real, absolute numbers, the number of users from New York in January decreased from 26,000 in 2020 to only 14,000 this year. What we don't know yet is if this represents an absolute decrease or just shift to later activity, which we may see pick up in the months to come. We see another interesting shift when we look at the level of engagement of job seekers. The site visitors who choose to create an account within Career Center are generally more seriously committed to a job search and are counted as job seekers. This chart compares new job seekers over the last few years. Notably, this season there is a substantial decrease in the number of job seekers who create a new account in January, 34% fewer than in previous years. Again, we don't know if this is a true decrease or whether we'll see greater activity in later months. Let's now take a look at the employer activity and the number of jobs posted in Career Center. We'll return to a chart from the first video in this series showing the average number of job postings per month in 2020, the COVID year, and in 2019, the pre-COVID year. We'll add data for 2021 represented by the orange bars and we see a slight decrease over last year, about 6%. This raises an important question to which we do not yet have an answer. Are these shifts showing that the job count is lower or later? If you recall in the last web video, we shared the results of an NAIS snapshot survey in which 55% of the respondents indicated that they would be making changes to their hiring process in 2021. And of that 55%, 23% said that they are likely postponing their hiring to later in the year. This would indicate that in the months ahead, we may see an uptick in job posting and account creation activity. Another question to explore in the job posting data is the distribution of job types. That is, whether schools will be offering fewer full-time positions. This graph shows a distribution out of 100% of newly posted jobs by type for both 2021 and 2020. As you can see, while there were 12% fewer jobs posted, 
the distribution by type has only changed slightly, with a 1% decrease in the percent of jobs that were listed as full-time. The next video in this series will explore how job seekers can optimize use of the NAIS Career Center for a job search. If you would like to be notified of all the new videos that are posted in this series, please make sure to click on the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. Thanks for viewing our video.